After treatment in the hospital, I was actually informed that I may have to have my leg amputated below the knee. The fact that I came over here and had hyperbaric oxygen treatment removed that fear and I didn't have to have it amputated. I've had an ulcer for 26 years. At long last, I've actually found something that's healing it and I feel fantastic because something's actually been done. I think, I think it'd be very unlikely I'd be walking now if uh, they hadn't treated me. The results are inspiring and it's technology that's the key. Here in Plymouth, you'll find one of the UK's few hyperbaric medical centres. Now, when many patients are referred here, they haven't even heard of the word hyperbaric. Those that have think it's probably just something to do with divers with decompression sickness. But we're here to show you that there's a whole lot more to it than that. Treatments in the Diving Diseases Research Centre's hyperbaric chambers may still be called dives, but the people inside aren't always divers with decompression illness. In fact, the vast majority have never been underwater in their lives. Aside from the divers, obviously, the main groups of people that we treat are people with complications um, of diabetes, such as leg ulcers, um, and the other sort of large group um, of sort of patients that we, we see are people who've had tissue damage after they've had radiotherapy for various reasons. A lot of those people are people who've had sort of head and neck cancer, but we also see people who've had um, other kind of cancers that have had radiotherapy and sort of later on complications. The treatment is known in the trade as HBO, hyperbaric oxygen. What it means in effect is that the patients breathe 100% pure oxygen while at a pressure greater than sea level. By intermittently increasing the amount of oxygen in the tissues, the healing process is enhanced. Often, the results are remarkable. I was in Derriford Hospital being treated for um, what I thought was a blister on the foot, which was actually an abscess. Um, when they had done the operation to cut the abscess out, I was then told that the wound would probably never heal. I'm an insulin-dependent diabetic and extremities are difficult to heal. Um, and it was only by good fortune, um, having been told that maybe I would have to have the leg off below the knee, that one of the consultants was um, keen on hyperbaric medicine and said, go and try hyperbaric. Hence I came over here and they cured the wound. Although the majority of cases are now medical, these chambers still provide a vital resource for divers who find themselves in trouble. Keith Scriven was brought in after what he says was a perfect dive just outside Plymouth Sound. I got extremely dizzy and everything just started to swirl around. I actually fell off the seat in the rib because I was driving at the time and I just was very, very sick. I continued to be sick and I was sort of virtually paralysed on the waist downwards and it was just horrible. Just gonna top you up. Like many divers who find themselves here, Keith knew only too well the potentially devastating consequences of the bends. I was very worried to start with because I really didn't think I could walk again and I was so disorientated and feeling so ill that really I was just hoping that somebody could fix me quickly. <laughs> did they live up to them? They did. They were extremely good. And one thing I will always be grateful for is I kept my wife fully informed. The family atmosphere is integral to everything that is done here, both for divers and the medical patients. Patients talk to each other, the staff come in, good morning, you know, nobody ignores you, everybody talks to you, make you feel very at ease all the time. So it's just like being in a... It's like work, a workplace where you get on with your work colleagues very well. It just feels like being at work or a member of your fam being with a member of your family. Very relaxed. But in the end, it's the results that count, and they speak for themselves. It's incredibly effective. 95% uh, of our patients leave here feeling much, much, much better. We test our patients before they start the treatment to make sure they are going to benefit, and if we can't, we don't uh, think we can benefit them, they don't come to us. But for the patients who can come here and benefit from the treatment, most of our patients get an incredible relief and get an incredible um, improvement in their condition. These are exciting times for hyperbaric medicine, and Plymouth's facility, based just two minutes from the region's largest hospital and the airport, is at the forefront of research and training in the field. The team sum up their mission in three words. Education, research, healing.